right now the numbers show that uh, sparkling wine is growing in many different countries and regions uh, not just champagne how do you see the landscape right now of uh, sparkling wine obviously champagne will always remain champagne but what are the other contenders that you see that are uh, have very very good potential um number one it's to be first open open to sparkling wine because a lot of people they, they are like just i drink champagne only champagne and the rest of the world mm is not uh, let's say uh, good enough for me uh, and i think it's a huge mistake because i've been like very surprised by uh, sparkling from uh, tasmania for example wow i've been uh, surprised by sparkling from canada during the, mm. the, the competition canada in niagara falls I think that was uh, one of uh, the, the sparkling. I was very surprised. Again, they they got like a pretty good. I think, if I'm not mistaken, they got a silver medal. They they've been uh, rating. Mm. I mean, from me around like 92 points, uh, which is very wow. good because I'm very very yeah. critic. Uh, but again, um, if you take another place, uh, not too far from France, England, I think they exactly. are also uh, getting more and more. Uh, uh, nice sparkling huh? let's 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 be honest and i think every time you have like a wave of like a hit it's probably going into their advantage because the, the grapes are like finally uh, getting the the ripeness that they are looking for so no let's let's be honest uh, be open be open to all those regions and uh, make sure you try them because you might find that one of the bottles is going to to surprise you and um, of course, champagne is champagne. Huh? Still, I'm the king of wine, and for me, the king of sparkling. But uh, it doesn't mean that I will not drink something else and discover new shining stars, how I call them. Wow, the Tasmania is very surprising. It is. Um, it is. It is, from it is very, and, uh, yes, very interesting. Mm. I, the, the, and a lot of people, you know, they, they travel, they travel the world, even some people from Champagne. Uh, they, they yeah. will go open their own vineyard or work uh, in the vineyard. So they know the techniques, mm. they know all the, the techniques champenoise and the, the, wow. as, as, as long as you have like the right grapes, you know, you can, exactly. uh, you can uh, come nearby. That's very yeah. interesting. If you implement all the knowledge and all the techniques uh, that you gathered from Champagne, then the only difference uh, should be the like the microclimate and the soil difference which is which gives another twist to the game and uh, probably it's very very uh, interesting no it is it is interesting and uh, but again i don't think today something will replace champagne uh, the the location the weather, of there is so many things that today it's going to be very, very hard to duplicate what is in Champagne, if not impossible. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you cannot uh, come uh, near to it. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full episode, click here. Don't forget to subscribe and consider joining for exclusive content.